Let's talk about one specific cast, the bow and arrow cast. Okay Dave, so we've got a 15 foot leader. Uh, how's the bow and arrow cast going to work? Well, if you look at the guys that do really long distance excellent bow and arrow casting, they have short leaders. And what I mean short leaders, they're standard 9 foot. And there's a reason for that, energy transfer. Okay, so on a, on, a, on a long distance bow and arrow cast, you're going to have you know your fly line out of your rod all the way back here, and you're going to coil up your fly line, um, and with one, and then pull back and load and launch, and your fly line is going to go out. It's going to launch. It's going to turn your leader over and your and tip it fly line, uh, the fly will turn over. You cannot do that with a long leader uh, setup. 15 foot leader, I dare you to take out that much fly line and 15 foot leader and try to load. The energy will not transfer with a sizable uh, terrestrial uh, beetle, uh, cicada, grasshopper, that kind of stuff on a 15 foot leader on, a, on an extended cast bow and arrow cast. So that means we get back to the discussion about approach and uh, Obviously, you have to look at that section where we talk about approach. Approach is king on these small streams, especially when you're on the bow and arrow cast. And the idea is to get into a position, you got a 15 foot leader, uh, at best you're going to have about 10 feet of leader out from the tip of your rod and you're just going to get into position, very slowly keep your fly rod ahead of you and you're going to pick the angle of where you want that cast to go and you're just going to slowly pull back and let it go. Now there's also a discussion about how much energy, how much do you want to flex the rod, all that kind of stuff and what angle you want to, to let that cast go at. And we'll get to that in a minute. But the imperative thing that you understand is approach is king, get in position, make sure that you're in the right position to just do the appropriate tension and angle with the rod and the leader and just let that fly out without overpowering because the last thing you want to do is overpower spook the fish with the release of the rod tip spook the fish with an over smack of that fly landing on the water uh, but you want to deliver that fly in a manner that it's fish food uh, respecting the environment that you're doing the cast in be sure to see this full video as part of our Fly Fishing Trout Streams Master Course, now available at the links on your screen.